plot the normal points for arterial and mixed venous blood, please, on this oxygen dissociation curve? Okay, so the normal uh, partial pressure of oxygen in arterial blood is 13.3 kilopascals, okay. which corresponds to a haemoglobin saturation of 97%. Okay. The mixed venous point normally is at a partial pressure of 5.3 kilopascals, which corresponds to a saturation of 75%. Okay. What different types of hypoxia do you know? Hypoxic, anemic, stagnant and cytotoxic. Okay. So what I'd like you to do now is to tell me what happens to the arterial and the venous points for each of those different types of hypoxia. Okay, so starting with hypoxic okay. hypoxia, the, um, this arterial point would be reduced because um, there's a reduced amount of partial pressure of oxygen um, and therefore a reduced haemoglobin saturation as well there's, because there is reduced um, oxygen transfer between the lungs and the blood. Okay. Um, because the extraction of oxygen by the tissues is the same, this mixed venous point would also go down. Okay. In anemic hypoxia, um, the arterial point would be the same, it would still be up here, but actually the overall content of oxygen in the blood in anemic hypoxia is reduced because of less haemoglobin, and so the venous point would go down. Okay, so if I asked you to plot on this y-axis oxygen content, could you do that for a normal haemoglobin content and in anemia? Okay, so if I draw another y-axis here and have oxygen content in mils per 100 mils of blood. Um, for a normal haemoglobin, the oxygen content would be about 20. And for an anemia with a reduced haemoglobin, let's say it would be up to there, and the, the curve would look like this. So the content would be lower. Right, I'd like to go back to stagnant hypoxia now. Can you tell me what happens to these two points in stagnant hypoxia? So um, in stagnant hypoxia, um, basically the circulation is reduced as a reduced flow in blood and the arterial point would stay the same okay. and um, the mixed venous point would go down. Uh, and that is because more extraction of oxygen is occurring at the tissues because the blood is moving slower through the tissues. In um, cytotoxic hypoxia, um, there is a condition where the tissues are unable to extract oxygen, such as cyanide poisoning, and so the mixed venous point would go up because they're unable to extract oxygen. This question explores understanding of the oxygen dissociation curve. Rather than asking the candidate to just recall facts, it expects the candidate to understand the differences between oxygen saturation, partial pressure and content of oxygen. The outline of the graphs is provided as part of the question to prevent the need for unnecessary or inaccurate drawing. This candidate is clear and works out from first principles what will happen to the arterial and venous points in the different forms of hypoxia demonstrating understanding rather than just factual knowledge and therefore constitutes a pass. The Physiology Structured Oral Exam aims to cover the breadth of the curriculum. There will be an emphasis on cardiorespiratory physiology which underpins our clinical practice but other areas such as neurophysiology, gastrointestinal, renal, haematological or endocrine will also be examined.